Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Hello teacher. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Edwin. Okay, good. How is everything, people? Good? Okay, is it raining nearby your house? No. Yes, it's rainy. Okay, good. Yes, I have the rain here today. Okay. But, you know, it's just a... Uh, you know, drizzling, it's not too, it's not too heavy, okay? In the afternoon, there was a lot of wind and a lot of uh, rain, but right now it's just some little drops, you know, like drizzling, so it's, it's not really intensive. Okay, good. And... Okay, before we, before we start, we're going to, to check today the, for example, the sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation, right? So remember today we're gonna have some oral practice, but before, I think it would be a good idea to practice some uh, intonation and stress when we are uh, reading or speaking. Okay. Pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to <laughs> sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, now listen again. Remember that they emphasize in the pronunciation that the important words in a sentence have more. Like it says here, right? Listen and practice. Notice that the important words, the important words, they notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Okay, this is. Uh, we use the stress to emphasize, okay, to make emphasis on what we want the people to pay attention to. So here you see, for example, excuse me, right? Excuse me. So it begins down, X, low, then it goes up and it says, excuse me, okay? Then, they're perfect, perfect. Then it says, I like the blue, the blue one, the blue one. The emphasis goes in blue, the emphasis goes in per, and the emphasis goes in excuse, excuse. They're not, they're not very attractive, attractive. They're not very attractive, okay? More stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. 
Practice as many times as needed. Is that the important words? Okay, Eugenia, can you read the sentences, please? The four sentences. Eugenia, your microphone. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. They are perfect. Okay. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay. The second, the third one says, I like the blue one. I like the blue one. Okay. I like the blue one. That's correct. Good. Thanks. Adriana? Can you read the sentences, please? Adriana, we don't hear you. Okay, then probably Adriana has a problem with the microphone. Okay, then uh, Fidel, can you please read the sentences? Of course. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Very good, excellent. Okay, uh, Brian. Okay, excuse me, they're perfect. I like blue one. They're not very attractive. Good, excellent. Okay, Dora, Dora and Mary. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Good, nice. Person. Uh, Rachel, uh, excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one, um, uh, they are not very attractive. Okay, good. Ana Rebecca? Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one, they're not very attractive. Okay, good. Eneida? Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one, they're not very attractive. Thank you very much. Hilda Milano, if you please. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent, very good. Okay, let me see if I have another round here. Asti. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Good, Fatima. Perfect. So we lost. We lost Fatima. Okay. Then um, Ana Guerra. Would you please, Anna? Okay. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Attractive. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Anna Esmeralda? I'm asking you, Ana Esmeralda. Uh, 
Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Thank you. Elena, and then Daniel. Elena, and after Daniel. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Very good. Nice. Excellent. Thank you. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Ernesto and then Lisbeth. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, Lisbeth. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, good. Ingrid and Anaviki. First Ingrid and after Anaviki. They're perfect. I like the blue one. And they're not very attractive. Okay, good. Ingrid? Okay. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue ones. They are not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, you know what? Then we have time. Herbert. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the, black, the blue ones. They are not very attractive. Okay, they're not very attractive. Okay. So just, I think that there is no problem with the intonation. Remember, excuse me. And the idea is to make emphasis, right? Make emphasis in some of the, well, in this case, in some of the syllables that go up and others that go down. And in some sentences is the word. For example, excuse is a syllable. Perfect is the first syllable. I like the blue. It's one syllable. It's monosyllable, then it's the word the blue one, and the other one is there, not very attractive, okay? That is the same. Okay, great. In a sentence, have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay. No questions, no problem? No? Nope. Okay. I'm going to take the first picture, the attendance. I'm going to take the first photo, first picture, and to work in the groups. Okay, let me check. Who we have? What are your names? Here they are. Okay, here we go. And here's the second one. And then we have the next screen and the last one. Okay, people, thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to work in groups uh, with the two, I think in the chat, in the chat we have uh, There are two conversations, right? Uh, Carolina, I think she posted the two conversations. For example, they're perfect for you. And the other one is, which one do you prefer, okay? First, uh, in the groups, you are going to practice, okay, the conversation, the 
okay? And after you are going to practice questions from the conversations, right? For example, the in the first one you have a for example, look those earrings. Uh, for example, you can say this one in the conversation one is about the you can talk about a dress. Hey, look at that dress, it looks perfect. You can change some words. Okay, first, you're going to practice the pronunciation in the conversation. Cuando yo entre al grupo, le voy a explicar otros detalles, right? Then, but first, practice the conversation, okay? Practice the conversation. Here we go. Three, four, too many. Three or four. Okay. That's one. Okay, there we go. Bueno, vamos a compartir la, la conversación. No, la, sí, la. Vamos a buscarla. Sí, sí. Espero que me equivoqué en tu foto. Uy, está que me voy a ir. Sí, porque yo tengo la mano nada más la conversación, la, la segunda. La primera es esta, son dos. La que está ahorita es, chicos, esta que, que acaba de compartir Gerson. Yo la compartí. No, Ernesto la compartió. Ah, perdón, Ernesto. Ajá. Ajá. Es de la... Y Sue. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Vale, Pero esa la... empiecen, empiecen ustedes dos. ¿no? Pero, teacher, excuse me, esa es la yes. segunda conversación, ¿verdad? Había otra antes. Eh, ah. Sí, el orden no importa, ¿ok? De, for, yes, la anterior es la donde están los earrings. Donde Ajá, the, sí. That's the one, ¿ok? Y luego viene esta otra, ¿right? It's in the store. Ok, entonces yo empiezo con esta, con quién. Uh -huh. Yes. The idea is the pronunciation, right? Look, this jacket is okay. really nice. Which one do you prefer, right? Um, I am any. Um, Anabiki or Ernesto Sue? Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Um, I am Annie. Uh, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. 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 Um, no tengo audífonos, así que por eso se oye, se, o sea, se me han arruinado, entonces escuchan el fondo y tengo que apagar y silenciar por si hay más ruido. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, the one, one. It's, it's look, it looks warmer. And well, I like the leader one better. 
it's more stylish. Stylish, eh? Stylish. 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 Yes. Stylish. Uh, stylish uh, than the old one. Mm -hmm. mm, there's no price there. Um, excuse me. How much is the jacket? Um, Claire? Um, lo haría yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, yes. Um, it's um, 599 um, <laughs> for you. It's, it's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, ahora cambiamos. Oh, look, a those earrings, Maria. No, Fatima. Oh, look, at those earrings, Fatima. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Eh, Fátima, eh, no es this, porque this es cuando está cerca, this, this es que están lejos. Those. Though, no, uh, de, de, ajá. This, this, singular, and pero verdad, plural. Teacher, la pronunciación es this. No, the, this and these. This, this and es cerca, ¿verdad? This. Ajá. This, for example, the I say Maria, these is these, these is in a pronunciation tensa. Aunque se, aunque se escriba this, se pronuncia this, this. Igual, que, igual que el otro. This, los dos son this. No, eh, hay una diferencia en el sonido. El otro es una I más corta. This, mm -hmm. y este es this. O sea, si ve la esta del plural, es this. Se hace una extensa, se tensa aquí esta parte para pronunciarlo, this, y es más largo. La Ajá. otra es una y corta, this. This. This, this one. This one oh. and these, these ones. This uh -huh. ones, this one. This one, these ones. Okay, these ones. Okay, these. Aunque sea T-E-H-S-E. -E. Uh -huh. Y se pronuncia yeah. these, exacto. Ok. Thank you, y el singular lo va a, sonar, va a sonar es como todas las i que ve acá. Por ejemplo, usted dice how much is it? No, how much is it? Is it? Es una i corta, es una está la par, en, lo, en lo que es fonética se llama una i relajada. Dice e y la otra es i. Nosotros en español decimos i es un sonido intermedio el que hacemos. Cuando decimos uh -huh. silla es intermedio. No decimos silla, ni decimos silla, right? Decimos silla. O sea, son mm -hmm. tres i diferentes. En inglés, la, cuando va solo una i, se dice this. Entonces se relaja el músculo, ¿ok? Y se dice this. Cuando se va a hacer el plural, se dice this. Lo mismo cuando usted dice asiento. Se dice s-e-a-t. Y se pronuncia si Tenso. Pero okay. se, dice, sit, eh, se dice siéntese, S-I-T, sit down, sit down, no sit down, sit down, okay. Okay, sit down. Ok, esa es la diferencia, o sea, es de acostumbrarse, ok, porque a veces a uno le suena, yo lo mismo, lo oigo, right, pero uh -huh. hay una mínima diferencia, es this and this, 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 ok, ok, yes, good, excellent, continue practicing. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Repeat. Uh, I like the leader one better. It's more as, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? Stylish. Uh, stylish. Than the wool one. Hmm. There's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Um, no, that's okay. But, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. You're hey welcome. everybody. Everybody, I have 
a couple of questions. Uh, uh -huh. The first one, what is warmer? Uh, caliente. Warmer is caliente, okay. And stylish? Mm. The estilo más de Ah, más. Este, elegante. Mm -hmm. Elegante, estilo, okay, mm. okay. And wool? Eh, lana. Lana wool, okay. And another wool, later, es cuero. Leather. 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 Ah. Leather. Leather. Ah, okay. leather, 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 cuero, ¿verdad? Cuero. Leather. Warmer, caliente, dijimos, but it looks warmer. Ah. Okay. Warmer, warmer is like un poquito más cálido, más caliente. Warm. Okay. Más caliente. Uh -huh. it, look, it, it looks warmer. Mm -hmm. Leather. Wool. And stylish. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay. Another time? Ah, uh -huh. Kimba. And did you practice the first one? You yes, the first one? teacher. Yes, okay, yes, yes teacher. okay yeah. good. Continue practicing, no problem. Okay, okay, teacher. Good, good. And good. I, and Aida, you begin it, please. Okay. Clothes, clothes. Ah, I'm gonna teach No, only about the clothes. It's. Uh... Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Here comes. Hello, here teacher. Comes the, here comes I the can... music. Here comes the boom. No, here comes the music right here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Mm. We practice the no. two conversations. Two conversations, okay, no problem yes. with vocabulary and pronunciation. No, but Eugene helped me with what is wool. Okay, perfect, no problem, that's the idea, excellent. Okay, yes. now you, you can practice, did you practice with your names? No. Okay, now you can practice, for example, uh, suppose I say, Fidel, look at these jeans, are okay. really nice. And they say, uh, which ones mm. do you prefer? And then you can say, I like the blue ones better. Okay, you can use plural, right? The, mm -hmm. You say the blue okay. ones. Why? Ah, they look uh, stylish. Y ahí la pueden terminar, right? No tienen que hacer la Okay. Cosa. Okay, pueden cambiar uh -huh. the jackets for okay. jeans. Solo que vayan viendo los plurales, right? Okay. Eh, the jackets eh, por un coat o una, eh, un saco. Abrigo. O blouse, uh -huh, or a coat. Uh, you can use also the a belt, un cincho, right? Or shoes. Umbrella. An umbrella. umbrella. Uh -huh, an umbrella. <laughs> Say, look at this umbrella. For this winter. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Look at this umbrella. It's, it's nice. You say, which one do you prefer? Um, I like the flower one, okay? Or the one with the flowers. <laughs> I like the one with the flowers. Para mí, no. Para mi esposa. <laughs> okay, no voy a pensar mal. Okay, good. Pero al final uno las usa, al final. Yes, exactly. Well, in case of, emer in case of emergency, nah, no importa, right? It doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Good. Excellent. You got it? Okay. Yes, okay. teacher. Thank yes, you. Teacher, teacher. Okay, Thank practicing. You. okay, good. Real one. Red one. Ah, okay. Red one. And you, Anna, what I, color do you prefer? My preferred color is blue. It's blue, okay. the ears. Okay. Uh, I prefer the blue ones. Hey, teacher. Hello. Hello. ¿A qué horas aparece? No, es que lo que pasa es que están bien concentrados, ya vi, están, están nah, practicando. Me llega. No, están bien, ¿eh? están bien, bien, bien concentrados en su práctica. That's good. Okay, uh, when you say, for example, I like the blue ones, that's the idea, okay? Which yes. ones do you like? I like the blue ones. Did you practice the two conversations? Yes. Okay, then now you can use, for example, uh, suppose I say, Ana Rebecca, look at those, uh, for example, look at those shoes. And then you say, uh, you say oh, they're perfect for you. Okay, and then Rebecca says uh, the, the blue ones, the red ones, the yellow ones. I'm not sure. And then you say, no, the brown ones. Oh, these or those. Hmm, brown isn't really good color for me. Yes, they pueden llegar. Okay, no tienen que hacerla toda, right? Pero van cambiando vocabulario, right? 
okay. and you can okay. use other words. Okay. Right? Good. La idea also, eh, la otra idea es que ocupen eh, los plurales, right? For example, ahí estamos hablando de earrings. Yo les di un ejemplo, okay. shoes. Pero okay. si hacemos un singular, you can say, Astrid, look at that jacket. Eh, it is perfect for you. It's a chaqueta, right? It's perfect for you. And then you say, uh, hey, entonces, eh, Astrid me dice, uh, this brown one, esta café, I'm not sure. No, no, the pink one. No, la rosada, pink one. Ya estoy usando singular, one. And then you say, oh, this. Mm, I don't know. Pink isn't really good color for me. Okay, mm -hmm. then you can say the pink no me va bien. Pink isn't a really good color for me. Okay? So you can okay. practice other vocabulary too. Okay. Quiere, quiere decir de que en vez de que digamos decir la, la respuesta que ellos dan, eh, nosotros la podemos responder con nuestras eh, propias eh, respuestas. Exactly, mm -hmm. generando ya su propio idioma, ¿ok? Uh -huh. You got it? Okay. Good. Okay. Perfect. Okay, continue with the practice. Okay. Now we'll go. Okay, this is. So, your fish. Look, attention, Jack. Are you really missing? Which on the you from perfect? Mm -hmm. Bernardo, it's your turn. Hey. Eh, who, who, excuse me, you I are lost. Sue, now. Sue. Yes. Okay, thank you. It looks strange. Wait. Eh, I like the world one better. To work on a high. Why? Uh, it looks warmer. Well, it like to... The light layer on a bed is more steely than can work on it. Um, there's no bright tag. Excuse me, wall much in this in this jack socket. It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no. Time. Okay. Good time. Time. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. And I. And I. Anyway. Okay. You're welcome. Did you practice the two conversations? Yes. Teacher, I yes. have a question. Yes, Anna Hilda. Um, what is the pro the correct pronunciation pronunciation mm -hmm. for leather? Leather. 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 Yes. And uh, wool. Wool. Correct. Wool. Correct. Stylish or no? Stylish. 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 Stylish, uh -huh. stylish, leather better. It's more stylish than the wool. Okay, price tag. How much is this jacket? It's for uh, four hundred ninety now. Would you like to try it on? No questions for the vocabulary. What is the mean of leather? Leather. It's yes. a cuero. Oh. Okay, the material is a leather, like the jacket. Oh, okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, what's the meaning of wool? Lana. Okay. The material, yes, wool. 
That's only that. Okay, very good. Okay, now, eh, ahora pueden practicar si buscan con otros, eh, otro vocabulario, right? For example, look at these shoes. Are really nice. Eh, then, for example, oh, look at those, uh, look at these uh, pants or jeans, right? You can also use that. Okay, you can use your own vocabulary. Pueden usar sus propias palabras, right? Okay. Okay, continue with the practice. El mío. No se escucha nada. You don't hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Any problem? Yeah. Eh, su compañero se nos salió, Herbert, sí. porque no se escucha. Como que el internet le está fallando. Esmeralda no se le escucha. Okay. Esmeralda, sí. Esmeralda, no se. Sé. Esmeralda. Okay. Say something, Esmeralda. No. Diga algo. No, no. Al, algo. Ah, algo. <laughs> Diga algo. Algo. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Okay. Did you practice eh, the conversation? Es, yeah, estamos practicando de ter prefer for you. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. entonces. Uh, no problem prefer? with the vocabulary? Uh, yeah, um, sería. Por aquí estaba una que no sabíamos cómo se. Okay. Ah, and then they say Steven well done necklace necklace? Necklace, uh -huh. A necklace se pronuncia. Ah, yes, okay. That's correct. Oh. Necklace. Okay. Okay. Bueno. ¿Alguna otra? A necklace. Escribe tat. T A G. Tat. T A G. Tag. 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 Ajá. Tag es la viñeta, right? Tag price es la viñeta donde viene el precio. That. Así se llama, ¿verdad? Tag en español. Viñeta. Uh, uh, eh, ¿Y cómo se pronuncia 499 dólares? ¿Cuál? 499 dólares. Ah, 499. 499. 499. Ajá, 499. Ok. Ok, good. Ok. Bueno. Entonces, Esmeralda, yo soy Steven y usted es María. Ok. Ok. Oh, look, uh, that's eating, María. They, they prefer for you. I am not sure. No, the yellow one. Um, I like the wool one better. The wool, the wool one. Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather uh, one better. It's more. Uh, there's no price tag. Necesito lavar unas cosas. Necesito que el lavadero esté limpio. Excuse me. How much it is that? Eso, mi muchacho. Um, it's 499. Would uh, you like to try it one? Oh no, that's okay. But thanks. Anyway, you're welcome. Algo, algo porque muerto por la lluvia. Okay. Está bien lo fuerte. Regresamos al otro. Seguimos con esto. Ay.
teacher, eh, creo que está muteado. Yes, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you. Eh, one of the best ways to learn a vocabulary in English is through context, okay? Eh, in my case, for example, I learn vocabulary if I, if I use it in context. O sea, al usar el vocabulario en contexto, es más fácil recordar, ¿ok? Por lo menos, a mí así me funciona. Que estar repitiendo vocabulario que sin contexto, y después, ya para querer usar uno en, un, en una oración, tal vez no es la palabra adecuada, right? So then, eh, that's why lo que hicimos ahorita, que yo les decía a algunos ayer, era parafrasear. ¿Qué es parafrasear? Es eh, decir lo mismo que alguien ha dicho. In other words. In other words, okay? We only substitute some words, right? We only substitute some words and eh, y vamos cambiando y diciendo lo mismo de diferente manera. Cuando le decía ahí, hey, look at those jackets, okay? Look at those jeans. Okay, look at, look at those uh, shoes. In singular, look at this shirt. Okay, look at this blouse. Hey, look at that car. Okay, look at that new car. Okay, and then you start changing colors. Uh, I don't like yellow. No, I don't like the blue one. I don't like the brown one. And then you practice the colors. You practice new vocabulary, right? In a, in a different context, okay? So then that is the, the let's say the purpose, the purpose of these exercises, right? Ese es el propósito, right? De un ejercicio de este tipo es eh, contextualizarlo. Eh, es bueno ver la oración para la estructura, right? Practice the pronunciation, then you see the question. Eh, pero siempre piensen en esos di eh, diálogos que ustedes ven en, en the, um, how do you say, in the, in the uh, on the platform. Always, always try to try to use and apply it to yourself. Okay? Traten de aplicarlo a ustedes mismos. ¿Por qué? Porque si un día se enfrentan con alguien o tienen que hablar en inglés con alguna persona en la calle o en el trabajo, ¿qué va a pasar? Ustedes tienen que usar su propio inglés, right? No se van a acordar, ah, let me see, platform, en inglés, uh, platform six, uh, section four, ah, si sí, el diálogo era este, no, you don't remember that, okay, uno no se acuerda de dónde estudió cierta cosa, we only speak, we are spontaneous, right, so we are, when we speak English, we, we are spontaneous, okay, so then uh, you can use this kind of vocabulary, okay, and put it in practice. Okay, with sentences about yourself. For example, you can say, I like, uh, I like those, uh, for example, oh, in English, a, for example, there is one word, let me write it here. Okay, here we have. Compliment. Okay, what is compliments? Look in the chat. Compliments. What is compliments? That is complete the sentence. Uh -huh. Compliments are, for example, cumplidos, right? ¿Qué es un cumplido? Ah, okay, okay. Es el famoso piropo en español. Alago. <laughs> un halago. Right. Solo que eh, el problema es que en español eso tiene una connotación negativa a veces, ¿verdad? Porque eh, hablar de un halago, un cumplido a alguien, este, se, se malinterpreta. Okay? Como o, acoso. Ajá. O también a veces uno mismo mm -hmm. lo hace. Por ejemplo, usted le dice a una a compañera de trabajo, ah, qué bonitos sus zapatos. Ya todos empiezan. Si hay más gente alrededor, ah, oh, right, and then... Mientras que en inglés esto es bien común, ¿ok? Esto hace que uno genere buena amistad, un buen rapport, como una buena eh, 
Let's say una buena, eh, how do you say this? How do you say this in Spanish? Una buena relación con las personas y amigos, right? Incluso, le voy a decir algo que para que lo, no lo vaya a interpretar, usted le puede decir a un hombre, I like you. Ok, de hombre a hombre. Pero, por ejemplo, la interpretación en esa oración es, usted me agrada, hey, me cae bien. Ok. Pero, por eso les digo, depende del contexto y por eso es importante el contexto. Ok. Si usted está con una señorita, la invita a cenar, no es porque quiere, o sea, si son solteros los dos y la invita a cenar, no es porque realmente solo quiera ser amigo. A veces le puede decir, o puede ser que sí, pero le va a decir también, o si le gusta, le va a decir, hey, you know what? I really like you. Usted realmente me gusta. Ok, pero ese like you ya es otro, otro contexto, right? Pero cuando estamos con amigos, que salimos hacia un, a dar este, digamos que estamos en un restaurante, en un bar, lo que sea, hey, you know what, man? You know, you know what, man? I like you. ¿Sabes qué, man? O sea, me cae bien. Ok, but that in English is like that. Ok, en eh, Spanish, if you, si lo se traduce literalmente, sería, hey, me gustas, o sea, ahí sí ya. Es otra cosa en Spanish, right? Pero le digo, es muy importante el contexto. Usted le puede decir a alguien, eh, Esperanza, I like your glasses. Me gustan sus lentes. Oh, thank you. Y ahí terminó todo, right? No more. Ok. You can say, for example, hey, uh, eh, you can say, uh, Mary, I like your smile. Me gusta su sonrisa. No problem. Que la idea es hacer sentir bien a las personas, ok? That is a context. Ese es el contexto en inglés, right? En, y así debería ser en español. Ok, but sometimes, porque es bonito que alguien diga, bueno, hey, me gusta su zapato, me gusta su sonrisa, qué bonitos ojos tiene, pero con un buen sentido, right? But I think it's a good intention, it's nice. A mí me gusta cuando dicen, me gustan teacher, me gustan sus ojos azules. Ah, ok, gracias. Les digo. Okay. Por eso desde, entonces, desde ese tiempo decidí usar lentes de contacto y me puse unos café para que, para que no me halagaran mucho mis ojos azules. Algún día se lo voy a enseñar. <risa> Okay, so but then you see that's the that's something that you feel it makes you feel good, right? When people tell you these things. Okay, so the context is important. Okay, very important in English. And always try to use English for you. Okay, uh, how can you use this in your job? ¿Cómo pueden usar ese vocabulario en, en su trabajo? All right. For example, you say uh, you, uh, you can tell your your boss, your supervisor. Hey, I need a new printer. Okay, why? Because the one I have doesn't work. Okay, porque el que tengo, ya usamos el one, because the one. Porque el que tengo, because the one I have doesn't work. Because the one I have is too small, muy pequeño, right? Okay, I need a big one. I need a big one. Necesito uno grande, right? You're talking about the printer, okay? So you see, you can use this in a different context, okay? Uh, for example, you can tell your boss, uh, I need a new computer. Why? Because this one is a slow. It's lenta, right? It's a slow. This one is old, okay? This one, uh, uh, what? Uh, probably uh, this one doesn't have the capacity I need, okay? So you see, you can use this vocabulary in another context, okay? You say, how much is a new one? How much is a new one? How much is a new computer? How much is a new one? Oh, $450, okay? And then you can use this vocabulary according to your uh, office or in your house, okay? I like apples, okay? Which ones, green ones or red ones? Which apples do you like? Green ones or red ones? Red ones. The green ones, you know, with alguaste, you know, and some uh, 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 sauce, they are delicious too, right? So then the green ones, okay? I like the green, I, I, like, I like both. I like the two, okay? I like both. But the green ones are delicious with aloeste, you know, and then you put some uh, sauce uh, and sometimes and lemon. and lemon sometimes. Yes, it's good. <laughs> okay. So I like it like that, right? The red ones, 
just the apple, okay? Then you see, you can use it also in food, okay? For example, uh, I like pizza. Which one? The pepperoni one? Hawaiian. The, Hawaii, the Hawaiian one? The Hawaiian one? Hawaiian one. Yeah. They have the meat one, the meat one, la de carne, right? Mm -hmm. Or what is the one? Ham, the jamón, ham, ham and vegetarian. Vegetarian, okay. yes, vegetarian. Anchovies, or cheese, Parmesan chicken. Anchovies, chicken, anchovies, no, the anchoas, anchovies. The uh, supreme one. The supreme one, okay. Yes, the cheese one, the cheese one, only cheese. Cheese one. Or for cheese. Okay. cheese. Uh -huh, yes, that's the one. Okay, so you see, you can use the, you can also use it in, for example, the Supreme one. How much is that one? How much is that one? How much is the Supreme uh, pizza? How much is that one? It's uh, $15. Depends. Uh -huh, depends. depends. It depends. Uh -huh. It depends, depends on the... If okay. it is, for example, uh, restaurant. Hey, that one, yes, the pizza calzone is good. Yes. If you're going to, to buy in Price Mart, uh -huh. uh, $11. Yes, it's the, in Price Mart is cheap. Price Mart is cheap, the pizza and the lid. It's very good. Yes. This one, uh, the calzone pizza in Price Mart, for me, is delicious. You know, and then uh, it's good. Yes, that's true. Okay. So you see, you can use this vocabulary not only about uh, clothes and stuff, okay? Always, always try to expand, okay? Expand your knowledge, expand your vocabulary, and use it in other contexts. Very good. Now we're going to go back to the platform. And then we have Say, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives uh, by expressing preferences, okay? Comparison to compare, okay, adjectives. Okay, eh, en uno de los grupos, alguien preguntó la palabra warm. Okay, you see a warm. Warm. Okay. What is warm? It's hot, more hot. Hot, right? It's calido, right? Calido. Calientito, right? Pero, it's close to hot. Uh huh, exactly. Close to hot. Very good. But uh, if I put ER, warmer is more. Warm. It's more than warm. Uh -huh, a little bit more. Okay, warmer. Mm -hmm. This is when you can compare, right? When you can compare, for example, uh, a wool jacket and a leather jacket. Which one is warmer? The leather jacket or the wool jacket? The wool one. The wool one. Wool one. Wool one. Good, excellent, excellent. The wool one, correct. The wool one is warmer, right? Because then you feel, yes. you feel more you. comfortable, right? Excellent, very good. Okay, so this is a comparative, right? This is when we compare two things, right? That was says the conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives. Obviously, when we compare, we are going to use adjectives. When I say tall, taller, short, shorter. A uh, fat, fatter, a uh, pretty, prettier, beautiful, more Chip. beautiful. Okay. Chip. Chip. Then this is uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. All right. Uh, let's say which one do you prefer? Yeah. And then here you will see the better in other words. This is the one. You're going to listen to this one. These jackets 
really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the red one. Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like it. It's more stylish than your one. Hmm. There's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this desk? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's a lot. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Something went wrong with the sound. And participants will listen to a conversation no, yes. and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expression yes. preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, if you see here, it, this is interpretation, right? That's why it is important, the context and the interpretation. What is better? What is better? The wool one. Mejor. Mejor, Mejor right? Mejor. And in this con y en este contexto? The wool one. The wool one is better. Uh -huh, but eh, está expresando cuál le gusta más. Okay, exactly. You would say más, right? Mm -hmm. Pero si ven para decir más, en este caso no dice more. Mm -hmm. Okay, que eso es lo que nosotros diríamos en español. Pensando en español diríamos, look at these jackets. Are really nice. Look at these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one more. Ahí diríamos en español. Ok. O I like more the wool one. Me gusta más. O sea, thinking in Spanish. Ok. But in English is I like the wool one better. Ok. Y se, tra se interpreta, no se traduce. Como mm -hmm. me gusta la de lana. Me gusta más la de lana. Ok. So then you have to think about this one. And say the wool one. And they say it looks warmer. And this aquí sí ya. Se ve más cálida. Más cálida, right? More warm. Well, I like the leather one better. This will be more. And then here is more stylish. The stylish is an adjective. Okay? And then you say more stylish than the wool one. Esta se la van a grabar esta estructura. More stylish than. More beautiful than. Okay, then you can say here, mm, there is no price tag. You can say it's more a uh, comfortable than a car. It's stylish. Uh -huh. A car is more comfortable than a motorcycle. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. More fast. Uh -huh. It's more fast. A car is more, faster. More fast. A car is faster. A car is faster than, faster than, faster than the a motorcycle. Okay. 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 Eso es lo que le vamos a ver, por ejemplo, cuando se escribe faster y cuando se dice more stylish. Tiene, hay unas reglas para cómo utilizarlo, right? Con sus excepciones. Okay. Um, but. Pero eso será para tomorrow okay okay uh, just let me see here then cotton okay then aquí no aparece pero mañana le voy a enviar unas reglas 
de cómo escribir las, eh, los comparativos. Por ejemplo, you can say, cuando son monosílabos, okay, ¿qué es un monosílabo? Un solo sonido, fast. Ok, ahí se va a decir faster. Big, bigger. Yeah. Small, small, no. smaller. Eh, fat, fatter. Short, shorter. Sure. Ok, no se dice more short, more fat, no, ok. Pero cuando ya llevan de dos o tres sílabas, expensive. Es, ajá, se usa el more. More expensive, more beautiful, ok, y nada, ok. Pero hay algunas excepciones. Por ejemplo, cuando es un monosílabo, como fat, por ejemplo, fat. Ok, fat es F-A-T. Tiene que tener consonante, vocal, consonante. Y ser monosílabo. Entonces, por ejemplo, si ustedes escriben father, lo van a escribir con doble T. Double T. ¿Ok? Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque es consonante, vocal consonante. Pero no sucede lo mismo con clean. Porque clean tiene consonante, consonante, vocal, vocal, consonante. Sí es monosílaba, pero no no cumple la regla de consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, en ese caso, no se duplica la N. Look, big. Big, bigger. Double T. Okay. Okay, tomorrow we continue with more of the comparatives. Thank you very much for your attendance, people. Have a very good night. Have a very good night. Too. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Night. Have a good night. Okay, teacher. Bye, 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 b